Alright, so now I'm going to be teaching you how to multiply and divide with sig figs. So, the rule for um, adding and subtracting with sig figs was that you had to round to the least number of decimal points. But with multiplication and division, you round to the least number of sig figs, right? There's an important distinction between the two, okay? So let's say we had something like 3.54 times 300, something like that. So the first step to uh, multiplication and division, in my opinion, is you want to figure out which number has the least number of sig figs. So you can use the Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean um, strategy that I described in this video right here. There'll be a link. Um, right? So we go to the uh, leftmost non zero number, so that'll be three, and then we count off one, two, three. So this has three sig figs. And then with numbers that don't have decimal points, we count off from the uh, rightmost non zero number, which would be three. So we just have one sig fig here, one sig fig. So we know that our answer has to be to one sig fig, right? So uh, normally, when you have to round to one sig fig, that ends up with you having to round kind of awkwardly, right? So let's say um, the answer was something like 978. Now, to end up with one sig fig, you'd have to end up rounding to about a thousand, or you could round down to 900. It would make more sense to round up to 100, but um, it really depends on what your teacher wants, right? So now, let's look at the answer to this problem. I have my calculator right here because mental math is not my forte. 3.154 times 300. I don't know if you can see that. I'll just, I'll just say the answer. So the answer ends up being 1050. And because we know this, this has to be to one sig fig, and we have three sig figs here, right? One, two, three. Uh, we're going to want to round it to 1,000, right? And that is basically multiplying with sig figs. We can do the same thing with uh, division. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's say we have something like 5,050 uh, divided by um, 4.8, right? So, let's count off the sig figs. This one has one, two, three, three sig figs. This one has one, two, two sig figs. So we know our answer is gonna have two sig figs. And it's also important to note that numbers that do not have a decimal point will not always have the least number of sig figs, right? It's just a very common occurrence because of the additional zeros, but the numbers with decimal points can have the least amount of sig figs, right? Okay, so plug this into our calculators, um, and we end up getting 1052.08, right? So we want two sig figs, and I think, in my opinion, the best way to achieve this two sig fig number is by rounding up to 1100, right? We've got one, two, two sig figs, so our answer is good to go. And that is how you multiply and divide with sig figs. Ooh, it's the end screen. Click on one of these links to be directed to that playlist. And don't forget to subscribe!